A forest garden is a three-dimensional garden made up of trees, shrubs, perennials, ground cover plants and so on, all interdesigned in a special way. And the plants are all of use, either directly of use to people, so fruits, nuts, perhaps medicinal plants, basketry plants, dye plants, fibre plants, there's lots of plants potentially of use. But also there's a lot of plants of indirect use, so there are bee plants, there are plants that help other plants grow, like nitrogen fixing trees and comfrey, which is a mineral accumulator. All these plants are working together in a system, and the forest garden is designed, modelled on a young natural woodland. There are many reasons to make a forest garden. One of the major ones is that it's a very efficient system of producing food and other materials. The forest garden is based on a young natural woodland and it takes very little energy, time, effort to maintain that system, much less than a similar area of, of annual vegetables, for instance. It may not yield as much, but that isn't the point. The point is it's more efficient because uh, for the amount you get out, you have to put very little effort in. So that's a very nice uh, system from that regard. There are lots of other benefits too. It's a wonderful place to be in. It's very beautiful. It's aesthetically pleasing, it's good for wildlife. And also, it helps people reconnect with nature on a deeper level too. A forest garden is designed around a system of layering. Although you can have seven or even more layers in a forest garden, in temperate climates, you're more likely to have four or five, but it's a movable feast. It depends what you want. Within that, there are techniques you use, such as correct spacing of trees to allow for maximum light penetration, and plant positioning with some plants helping other plants, uh, which all go to make the system work efficiently as one. Fifteen years ago, this was just a pasture field, used for occasional cows. I took the field over then, and I've planted a forest garden. And uh, as it's growing and establishing more, it's functioning better and better as its own kind of forest ecosystem. Now a forest garden works because there's so much nutrient cycling going on. There's so many root, different root systems occupying the soil and so many uh, aerial systems occupying the air that although, of course, there is occasional competition, they are uh, utilising the space very, very efficiently. Before I was a forest gardener, my wife and I ran a market garden. It was an organic market garden, selling the vegetables commercially uh, in South Devon here. And although market gardening uh, we could do, and it was fine, market, organic market gardening is very hard work for very little reward, in fact. Although people complain about the price of organic food, uh, sometimes they don't realise the sweat that goes into actually growing the stuff. But while I was market gardening, I was thinking, is there not a better way of growing food that's more sustainable, that doesn't involve digging the soil every year, that maybe is more beautiful as well? And just at that time, I came across a little pamphlet by Robert Hart, and then his book as well, published by Green Books. And um, they sparked off something in me. I went and visited Robert Hart, uh, and he was a real inspiration to me starting along the route of forest gardening. And I came to realise that actually working with perennial plants can be more of a challenge than annuals, but the rewards can be so much greater. <laughs>